I should probably find another way out. Hey all you ghosties out there, welcome back to Tyler Play Game. Today I wanted to check out a new game I found on itch called The Hospital. I have no idea what this game is about, it just looked nice and I was just like, okay sure, let's download it. So, best experience with headphones, well, I'm already ahead of you there. Hello. When the virus got me, I was hoping I would be among the majority who got only mild symptoms and recovered quickly, but my condition grew worse day by day. I checked into the hospital last week, barely able to breathe. I paid a lot to get a private room, and I was lucky they managed to find one. There are no vacant rooms in hospitals across the country as the pandemic wreaks havoc. It's pandemonium out there. So many sick, so many dying. I feel like I've become a number, a stati statistic. That is a difficult word for me to say for some reason. I think I'm growing sicker. I feel faint and weak all the time. Yesterday at night, they had to increase my oxygen intake. I heard them talking about having to put me under to intubate me if my condition got worse. What if I don't make it? It would be a horrible way to die alone in this room. I was never a believer in God or in heaven or in hell. I wonder what happens to a person after they die. I've never really stopped to think about it until now. I guess I was too busy living life and chasing shadows to think about death. Hmm. I'm feeling weak. So weak. I think I'll sleep now. Can barely breathe. Am I dying? I think I'm dying. Yeah, I think... I think I, I think I just died. Oh. I'm up? How am I up on my feet? I can't remember getting out of bed. Walk around using WAS, look with your mouse, observe your surroundings by clicking on objects in the world. The game saves automatically. I don't need to save the game. Neato. horn. My bed. It looks like if it was recently made. When did I get off it? Who came in and made it? I don't remember any of it. The rest of the room looks neat too, as if the room was recently vacated. I spent days on this bed struggling to breathe. It feels weird to be up and about. It's definitely fair. Clock. The clock doesn't seem to be working. Okay. Noted. Can't click on that chairs for visitors, except being in quarantine, I had no visitors. Fun fact, I had COVID in uh, December of 2020, and it was one of the worst experiences of my life. So get vaccinated if you can and stay safe. It's silent. I remember the doctor and nurses hooking me up on this saying, it's infernal beeping, the hiss of pumping oxygen. It's one of those terrifying things in a hospital. All the machines whose purpose you don't know. I mean, we kind of know what the purpose of that is, but the bathroom door appears to be locked. That's that's always a good thing. Let's keep our patients from using them. Bathroom! Hello? That person out there. Maybe a doctor. I need to find out what's going on. Um Where is everybody? When I checked in here, these corridors were full of activity all day and night, filled with nurses and doctors and patients. Um, can I... What does that look like a test of some sort? Weird. Hello? When I checked in here struggling to breathe, there were two harried but kindly nurses sitting behind this desk, answering calls, filing papers, welcoming patients. They sure had their hands full. Do any lights in this place work? Door. No luck. Didn't these doors open out to a lobby with elevators? That would have been my way out, except it looks like I can't leave this way. 
I should probably find another way out. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Excuse me, ma'am. Lady. Miss Possible Doctor. Locked. That's odd. There are no room numbers on the door. I'm pretty sure I'd seen room numbers when I checked in. Hmm. Creepy. Can I jump? Nope. Hello? Why are the lights flickering ever so slightly? Ma'am? Are these patient wards? Why are they deserted? There's got to be someone, a nurse or a doctor, who can help me and tell me what's going on. Uh, I certainly hope so, but, you know, I'm starting to get the feeling that... Other than that one person, we seem to be... What? Someone on the other side of this door? Uh, hello? Oh. Well, that doesn't look good. This room looks like just the one I was in. I did not read that properly. This room looks just like the one I was in. But it's a mess. It is, and there's what appears to be blood? How awful. There's some kind of stain. I guess the bed wasn't cleaned after the last patient departed. I do not appreciate that. That figure. What? The sound came from out there. Okay, well, you know, I think we might just stay in here. It's in the drawers. Can I? Nope. Okay, I guess I don't need to go to the bathroom after all. That figure I saw on the TV, it reminded me of... No, it can't be. I must be imagining things. Maybe that's why this whole thing is. Some lucid dream I'm having while my body lays in some kind of coma. Um, I'm assuming I go this way. Hello? You know, I don't think this is what hospitals bleh, uh, bleh, hospitals are supposed to be like. It's just kind of a guess. I did have to go to the hospital yesterday. I'm fine. I just had a CT scan. And my hospital sure did not look like this. Nor was it empty. There were a lot of people around. Uh, hello? Anybody? Caught? This room's open. Okay, sorry. Who shut the door? Was that a corpse in there? If this is a dream, it's growing increasingly disturbing. Yeah, a little bit. Um, hello? Is someone toying with me? Am I being led? That figure I saw. <gasps> I don't like her. It can't be her. This is a dream. A nightmare, rather, in which I'm trapped. How can it be her? Uh, maybe if I pinch myself, I might be able to wake up? Ow. Nope. Um... I don't like that. Hello? Um... What? How? How did I get here? I recognize this place. The furniture and the way they're arranged. This looks like the apartment where we used to live. Except everything looks abandoned and gone to rot. There's something on the table there. <gasps> oh, hello! How are you? It can't be. It can't be her. I can't see her face, but I'd know her anywhere. How is this possible? She'd been dead for four years. Uh, Nia, 
Is that you? That familiar silence. This is some monstrous dream. Memories of those horrific events of four years ago are coming back to me. The doubt and the guilt that have haunted me since. Could I have saved her life had I done things differently? And at what cost? I'm sorry for what happened, Nia. Only cold silence. What does she want? Oh. Well, I hope that's not like my daughter or something. Nia? Am I going crazy? Or is this some fever dream seated by my past while my body lies wasting away on a hospital bed? You know, let's let's hope for the latter. Um Nia. I remember this picture. We had taken it out by the beach just after yet another bitter fight. She was just 24, but by then she had already begun to show increasingly frightening signs of the mental illness that would later consume her. Erratic, violent shifts in temperament, brooding silences, fixed stares, an obsession with my whereabouts, self-harm. I tried to get her to get help. She refused. When it was clear she was becoming a danger to both of us, I ended our relationship. Well, she's not my daughter. And then it got worse, a lot worse. The phone calls, the stalking, the threats. And finally, I woke up one night to find her standing over my bed, staring at me, her dark eyes empty and unreadable, her mouth stretched in a chilling grin. And when I saw what she was holding in her hand, This furniture, the couch, the tables, all props from a past I'd much rather forget. If this is a dream, how does it feel so real? I can smell the rot of this place, a vile smell. None of this makes sense. This apartment, it was where she and I lived together before it all went to hell. Oh, good. I'm being haunted by my dead ex-girlfriend, I guess. Great. What is this place? Um, I don't, I don't think I want to know what this place is. You know, something tells me that, uh, it, it's just bad. It, very bad. Oh. Excuse me. Sleeping person with a sheet over their face? Oh, corpse. Who would abandon a dead body here? The stench here is terrible. I should move on. Okay, you stay there. I'm gonna... I'm sorry. I can't go through that door, apparently. Can I? Please? Doesn't budge. Ah, I figured as much. Oh, no, I don't. <gasps> I'm okay. Let's get far away from the moving dead body towards the creepy laughter. What? Oh, good. What? Who moved? Who's moving? I don't like this. We're gonna. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. On that night, four years ago, when I woke up to find her standing over me, she was holding a knife. As I watched, she raised it and held it to her own throat. She said, I don't want to live without you. Before she could hurt herself, I leapt at her, grappled the blade away, and subdued her until the authorities arrived. They put her away in an institute, a mental hospital. And a week later, I got that terrible call. That really sucks. At least I didn't see her. 
injure herself because that would have been absolutely terrible. Oh! Well, I got to see it now. Nia. Oh God. Why did you do it? Why did you have to go like this? They told me what you wrote on the note, your last words. What do you want from me, Nia? I did what I could. Why are you tormenting me? That is a very good question. And I'm afraid of the answer. Nia? See? Nia? What do you want from me? I think of that note you left. The last words you ever wrote. Oh, please don't get any closer. You wrote, I'm never going to let you go. I know those words were meant for me. Is that what this is about? That if I'd done things differently, you... Uh, uh, that if I'd done things differently, perhaps been more compassionate, you might still be alive? Please don't. I'm back in my room. How did I get here? Nia. It's a very good question. Can I just go lay down? The bed I was lying on, fighting for my life. Am I well? Am I well, or am I still trapped in this nightmare? Ugh. I have a feeling we're still trapped. Hello? Do I dare go out there? What will I find? A bustling hospital? Smiling faces telling me I'm better and I can go home? Or shadowy halls haunted by my past? Am I in a coma, trapped in a body that is wasting away while I suffer a fever dream born of guilt? Or am I dead and this is my afterlife? These dreaded halls, a tormented soul stalking me for all eternity? I sincerely hope not. that was the hospital it was actually really good not too many forced um jump scares that's what i was trying to think of jump scares yeah i actually really liked that the link is in the description if you want to check it out for yourself don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell as well and i will see you all in my next upload goodbye